Hello everyone, this is Noura Kharifa and welcome to our talk show before the event University 195 conference. If you didn't register yet for our upcoming conference from the 5th to the 9th of December, please visit www.195university.com and register if you know any students, academic or professors who is interested in educational field or in higher and vocational education, please let them join our conference from the 5th to the 9th of December. So today we have an amazing speaker, Ms. Laura from EU Business School. Hello, Ms. Laura, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Everything is good. Thank you so much for joining us in our talk show and we look forward to see your participations in our upcoming conference and exhibitions. So let us start our talk show. Can you tell us more about your university in general? Yes, of course. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's an honor to be, to be participating in, in the event and I really look forward to it. Um, so very, um, very briefly, EU Business School is a business school located in several countries in Europe. So I am myself based in Barcelona today, which is our biggest campus. And we also have um, two other campuses, I mean, four other uh, campuses actually located in two other countries. So we have two campuses in Switzerland, one in Geneva and one in Montreux. And we have one campus also in Munich. Plus, I shouldn't forget our online campus. Um, so we are a Swiss school, which was created in 1973. So it's been, it's been a while. And we combine um, the best of the Swiss values and uh, UK qualifications. Can you tell us more about the culture of the university? Yes, definitely. So this is, um, this is a school of entrepreneurs, uh, if I may say. So we have, um, we have around 20% of our students uh, who end up creating their own company. Uh, we have another 20% who go back to their home country normally. Um, following the family business. So definitely here is a school where we have students coming from a lot of different countries. Um, so this is extremely international. We have around 100 nationalities uh, over different campuses. Um, so yeah, this is a place where they can share their ideas of business that they may create or they have a project on the side. Um, so it's, it's very nice to see actually all, all this interaction and innovation and creativity. So definitely we, uh, I would say we are a school of entrepreneurs. Um, our teachers, actually our faculty um, work in the business. So they either created their own company or they are a business consultant, for example. So this is something very interesting for our students because they, they don't learn only from the books. Um, they really have, they can have like um, guidance from, from leaders really. And that's something that, that normally they, they like a lot. So this is, I think, another thing about our culture. And we do focus a lot on the career. So we are a business school. We focus on business. We only teach business. There's a, business is very wide. It can open a lot of doors. So of course, within business, there's a lot of specializations. Um, but yeah, we, we do specialize on that and on the career that our students um, can have after they graduate with us, because that's the reason why they, they, they are studying, no? not just to have something else on paper, on the CV, but really for them to get the job that they want. Um, and we know it's, um, it's difficult sometimes to know when, when you're 17, what really you want to do uh, in the future. So we coach them from the very first day that they are here. We organize a lot of things outside the classroom. They go and visit some companies. We um, always invite business leaders to come and share their experience with our students. Um, for example, we also plan a job fair every year. We have an online platform with a lot of different uh, internship ads. So it's not only about what's done in the classroom, but everything else. Um, where we really try and prepare the students um, for the job market from the very first um, day at school. You already told us about some of the cities that new business schools are located. Can you tell us more about the locations and 
what, for example, if someone wants to, to study in EU business school, what do you recommend? Like, how do they choose the city? Yes, that's a very good question, actually. Um, we are located in, in, in cities which are fantastic. Um, I'm French myself. I've been in Barcelona for the past four years, I think. Um, I've uh, moved around quite a lot before. Uh, I ended up here and I don't want to go anywhere else in the world. Uh, Barcelona is really an amazing city for a lot of different reasons. Um, we feel, we never feel like foreigners uh, here because it's a very international city. And that's actually the case uh, in all the cities that we are located uh, in, which I think is very important because as I mentioned before, we have over 100 nationalities. So all our students come from somewhere else. So I think it's very important that when they come to Europe, to a new country, to a new place, that they feel kind of at home, even if it's a different home, but at least they feel welcome. Um, so yeah, those cities are very, very international. And then talking a little bit about um, each of them. So I started with Barcelona. Um, it's a city where there's the beach uh, right inside the city. There's mountains just, uh, just outside. The architecture is, is amazing, of course. Um, the people are really, really friendly as well. But also I would, I would like to mention that it's a, a city of, of opportunities. Um, it's a city where there's a lot of uh, international companies and there's a lot of startups. So students definitely have uh, opportunities here. Um, you just need to speak English. And in our school, we only speak English. So for sure, all our students know how to how to speak English, but if they are interested, for example, in, in marketing or in tourism, which are specializations that we have, um, having a career in Barcelona or at least a job experience in Barcelona or an, or an internship as well, would be very good. Now, we also are in Switzerland and uh, in Munich. So uh, for students, for example, who are interested in, in uh, finance, and working in finance in the future, then I would definitely uh, suggest to study at least part of their degree, um, either in Switzerland or in Germany, which are really countries which are very strong in that field. Um, if they want to do international relations, for example, then 100% they should go to, to Switzerland. At the end of the day, it's the same programs that we teach uh, pretty much in all, all our campuses. The difference is gonna be what kind of connections you can uh, make in each city and what kind of, of opportunities you can, you can uh, have. So it's very important when the students uh, select their university that they think about this. They think about what they want to do afterwards and what can the city of their studies bring to them. Um, so yes, I talked a little bit about the opportunities then in, um, in Munich, for example, um, companies are investing a lot in technology. Uh, I'm talking about Amazon, I'm talking about Apple. Um, so for sure, uh, I think it's something students should take into consideration. It's a place of innovation, of technology, um, and there are a lot of, of opportunities um, there as well. Now, in terms of the campuses, it's pretty much um, pretty much um, the same style uh, in uh, Munich or in Barcelona. Those are very modern uh, buildings um, and they are located in the city center. So it's very convenient for our students. They are right in the city center. They can go anywhere very easily. Um, they can explore Europe from those places as well because there's a lot of uh, cheap flights. Um, so this is definitely something that our students are, are looking forward to. Um, what else can I be? I, I could be talking a lot about the different cities because um, they are located in um, business hubs in Europe. So this is how we've, we've picked the location. It's not, it's not random. It's because it's a very important places for our students to, to start their career in or at least to learn. Um, the skills that they will need to, to start their career, to have a lot of contacts as well. And it's also places where the language is very important in the business world. So in our school, everything is taught um, in English. However, if they come to Germany, for example, I would strongly suggest to take this as an opportunity to learn German, which is a very important language in the business world. 
And I mean, if they come to Spain, they could learn Spanish and same for, for uh, Geneva and Montreux, we, uh, we are in the French speaking side of Switzerland. So they could take this opportunity as well to, to kind of learn French and have another skill um, that they can um, take advantage of when they are looking for a job eventually. And just a, a little bit more about our Swiss campuses. I think those are very special campuses. Um, they are the most camp boutique campus that we have. They are the, the smallest and where we have um, really the most personalized approach. Um, so I'm talking about having maybe 15 students in the classroom. Um, everybody knows about them. They are really looked after. Um, the, again, the location is, is amazing. Our Montreux campus, I cannot show pictures here, but it looks like a palace. It's right by the lake. Um, so yes, fantastic locations, I would say. That's really uh, What achievements uh, are you most proud of of the university? Right. Um, I would say um, the way we have adapted to the COVID um, situation. Um, we have had luckily an online campus for the past 10 years. So it's not something that was new for us. It's something that we, uh, we mastered already. And um, we've, we've had awards on, on how interactive it is. So it's definitely something that we took advantage of and we were very happy to have because it was certainly a very challenging situation for everyone. Um, so all of a sudden from one day to the other to have like all our students moving to the online campus was definitely um, one challenge, but we, uh, we have adapted really well to that. And we've supported the students a lot during this uh, and, and certain times where Borders were closing, they were not getting their visas. There was a lot of, of um, families worried, of course, and we have offered a lot of options uh, for the students to start later if they had a visa delay when finally we could resume um, studies on campus, right? Um, so we've, we've offered a lot of flexibility, as I said. Um, they could follow the classes in streaming or online and then get inter incorporated in, in the classroom. Um, so this is something I think we've, uh, we've kind of mastered and I'm, I'm really glad that our students uh, were guided the way they were during that, that period of time. So that's, that's what I, I thought of uh, uh, because that's probably the most recent and challenging uh, event that uh, all of us have had to, to deal with. Um, but otherwise something I, I'm very proud of here at EU are two things. Uh, one of them is the fact that we have students from everywhere. I keep repeating it, but that's because we have a very, uh, very important uh, international community. When I walk on, on the corridor, I can hear Russian sometimes. I can, I can hear English from the States. I can hear Chinese. I can hear Arabic and can hear a lot of a lot of different languages, even though, of course, everybody communicates in English when they speak together between themselves. And this is very important because we, we do um, work, all of us, in a globalized uh, world. And when we work, we always uh, have to deal with people who come from different cultures. And the fact that our students are already used to that from the very beginning of their studies is a huge plus for them because they know how to address someone who comes from um, South America, for example, or someone who comes uh, from Europe, which is different uh, because of the culture. So I think this is something very good for them in the future, but also very interesting because we, I mean, I wish we could travel everywhere, but um, this is a chance of meeting people who do travel from a lot of, of other countries and, and learn about their culture and, and potentially their language. They can do language exchange as well. Um, and just discussing, you know, um, for example, um, the, the projects that they have in class or the case studies, it's very interesting sometimes to hear the different perspectives of the students um, talking about one same topic just because of the different background they come from or, or the different culture they have. It brings a lot to the table. So this is something that I, I, I am really proud of. And it's the same for the faculty and the staff we come from 
from a lot of different places actually. And the second thing um, I would say is the number of women that we have. We have 54% of our students who are women. So I'm very, very happy about this gender balance here at EU. Uh, that's really, really great. And actually in Bahrain, uh, today is our uh, woman, uh, Bahraini Women Day. So we're celebrating women as well. Perfect. So can you talk, us, uh, talk about, uh, can you talk more about the program you offer? I know that you are a business school, but just more information about the program. And if anyone wants to join any of these programs that you offer. Absolutely. So we, um, we have a whole bunch of different programs uh, from the short programs with uh, which students either at university or in high school can do. So they can come for a couple of weeks and have like an, int an introduction to business um, and visit the city. Those are for the short programs, but mo most of our students, they are enrolled in um, the long programs, which are the bachelors, the masters or the MBAs. We also have some a doctorate of business administration, actually. Um, but yeah, so we have we have a little bit of all levels um, from the most general uh, program where they have a little bit of everything about business, which is the Bachelor of Business Administration, to the most specialized programs, which are master degrees. Um, so we cover a lot of specializations. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, just to give an, some examples, we have marketing, we have finance, we have human resources, we have international relations, we have sports management for the those students who want to work in, in the sports industry. Uh, we have data science, we have a whole bunch of different specializations. So again, business is very, very wide. Um, so if, if students are interested, I will be here during the event and I can tell them more about the different programs and different specialization, but just, just for them to know that we cover it all. Uh, we also have uh, MBAs where they have a majority of classes about business management, and they also have a specialization in that one. Since you talk about the specializations, <laughs> can you tell us what are the specializations that will increase on in the future? Mm -hmm. Um, so technology is definitely uh, becoming more and more important and we need to link it with business, 100% sure. So I think everything which is digital and has to do with IT is the future. So we have actually opened a few new programs this year. One of them is about business intelligence, business analytics and data science, which for sure is in demand. Uh, so those are great skills to have. Um, others are about digital marketing because I mean, everything goes through that now. And uh, yeah, anything, I, I would say anything which has to do with, uh, with technology. So what should students consider when selecting their university? That's, um, that's a, a good question. Um, of course, they really need to look a lot at the university or the school that they are selecting because sometimes I am also doing the um, the interviews of, of the students when they want to apply and sometimes we can see that they're applying a little bit everywhere so I would I would definitely suggest to look where you are applying why are you applying to that university look at where it's located where you want to go I mean where why do you want to go to that to that place why what is it going to bring to you what is the culture of the university? We discussed earlier um, our culture. I mean, I think it's something very important because if the, the students uh, want to have a personalized approach, for example, and they end up in a huge uh, university with hundreds of students um, in, in the classroom, then it may not be a good fit. Um, so they really need to think about what kind of university they are looking for and what kind of program as well, because some programs are very practical, other programs are a little bit more academic. So there's a, a lot uh, they can choose from. Um, so yeah, they need to understand themselves and what would be the best, the best fit for them, first of all, in terms of university. Then second uh, would be, of course, about the program. Um, take a lot of time, go into um, the actual description of the programs, check 
how long it is, what kind of classes you will have, um, check some videos of the university if it's available, try to speak with some current students if possible. Um, those are things I would, I would definitely um, suggest. And also what kind of support the, 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 the school is going to give you when it comes to looking for a job or an internship. Um, because as, as we discussed before, they are not just studying to put something on their CV, they are studying for them to be able to get the job they want after that. So try to think about what they want to do um, and how the university, how the school can help them to reach that. Well, that's really great. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Ms. Loda. Is there anything you would like to add before we end our talk show for today? Well, I think that's uh, that's a very good opportunity for, for students to, to hear to different uh, people from different universities. So I would just like to thank you very much for organizing this. And I really look forward to, to participating in the event. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ms. Lora. And thank you all for joining us and our social media platforms. Again, I'm reminding all of you, if you didn't start registering for our upcoming event from the 5th to the 9th of December, please visit our website, www.195university.com. If you have any kinds of questions, please, you can send the questions on our website and we will direct them to EU Business School. Don't forget and don't miss our upcoming exhibitions during the uh, event time. The exhibitions day will be from the 6th to the 9th of December. So please don't forget to join us if you know any students, any academic, anyone who is interested in higher education and vocational training, please allow them to join our event. Thank you so much. This is Noura Khalifa from Kingdom of Bahrain and have a lovely evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, Bye, sir.